What's up guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, here in my hometown, they have finally called off school for the following week. And then our next week is spring break. Now, will school be back in session after that? I have no idea. <clears throat> after being on Facebook for the past... 10 plus years. Uh, I know a lot of what's going on. I'm all I'm in a couple different groups uh, that are centered here in my town. And uh, of course I'm on there on my own page and I post my own stuff. And I got my I have my Facebook page uh, pulled up right now behind me here. Um, and I just have a couple things I want to read. Um, why? Because I can read it. I've already thought it out and wrote it, and I don't have to think about it again. So let me just start with one of the first, probably one of the first things I said, maybe. Um, I said, uh, I wonder just how fast a virus has to spread, and how many people have to die before the really cool people stop with the insults to those taking this seriously. Sure, at first I took it lightly, but let's face it. It's a bigger deal than what some think. I'm not scared still, but I also have common sense enough to realize this is legit. Maybe you'll take it serious when someone you know gets it and dies. Or it could be you. Might want to think about that, guys. So that's what I typed on not only my own Facebook page, but I also posted it in uh, one of those groups. And it got a lot of good replies and uh and reception <coughs> because it's true you know uh, anything can happen you know we're we are really at the mercy of our leaders you know so anything can happen uh, anything can happen with the virus itself so you know we're not as much in control as we think of a lot of things and uh, something that I posted this morning, actually, I was cooking breakfast, and instantly this just popped into my head. So uh, I'll read this out as well. It says, I just had the craziest thought about all this sickness talk going around. An epiphany, if you will. A couple of weeks back, when a flu was going around, everyone was complaining how schools should shut down. Oh my God, if my little Billy slash Sally gets sick, I'm going to be mad. Fast forward to now. Now we have a virus going around worldwide. A virus with no uh, known cure killing people. And now schools, businesses are closing. The government's taking it seriously. Our local government is taking it seriously. And finally, action is being taken. So now you have people complaining, making fun of those who are worried, making fun of those preparing, cracking jokes, posting their ignorant memes, etc. Hmm. So the regular flu has a vaccine, whether it works or not, and you want everything shut down. This virus has no known cure, and you're cracking jokes and making fun of everything, and up in arms about things shutting down. Just slightly strange how some people think. And I put thoughts and opinions are welcome. And so far, you know, I posted that on my Facebook wall and nobody's really replied. I don't get a lot of traffic on my own Facebook wall. There's a lot of boring people out there that don't like to get involved in stuff. But I posted it on uh, the group that I'm in here with my local town. And uh, a lot of people are replying. Lots. And uh, pretty much everyone's on board with what I'm saying. Um, now, that, that's pretty much the gist of what all I've written about the whole coronavirus uh, issue. Uh, I'd say that that sums up everything pretty well that I'm thinking. Um, now, like I said in the first part that I read, um, you know, I was taking it lightly at the beginning too. And like, you know, no big deal, no whatever. Good grief, people, come on. And... To some extent, I'm still that way. 
However, you know, things can go from one extreme to the next real quick. You look at all the hoarding that people are doing, and you think, uh, well, it's gone to this extreme over this just beginning. How bad can it really get? Well, how bad it can really get is what you see in TVs and movies. Uh, it could get really bad, and it could get serious. We don't know the extent of it. I mean, it's just really starting. Uh, the panic is really just starting here the last handful of days. So, uh, there's a lot going on through my mind. One thing going through my mind is, I hope everybody's safe. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there whose immune systems are not great, and you're older or even younger, and people with different uh, things from diabetes to respiratory problems and, and just different things. You know, a lot of people have it uh, kind of bad out there, no matter your age. Well, something else that goes through my mind uh, instantly is... And it, it kind of goes back to when my wife and I were kind of having problems uh, back in 2010. See, I didn't know where my life was going at that point. I didn't know if I was going to stay with her. I didn't know if she was going to stay with me. I didn't know what was going on from one minute to the next. And so I was constantly looking for... Uh, I, was on, I was always online looking at, like, uh, campers and RVs and stuff like that. And... Uh, and really still to this day I still look at them because I would love to have a camper not no, not necessarily an RV because there's too much money involved and too much upkeep and maintenance but uh, I, I've always been interested since that point in getting a, a camper and like I said because I didn't know one minute to the next what was going to happen between she and I at least if I had a camper I knew I had a home uh, so that's where I'm at now I'm really I really wish that somehow she and I would have got a camper because you never know where this is going to go. Will her work shut down eventually? Will the government make everyone stay at home? And what will happen at that point? Uh, are all of our bills uh, just kind of pushed aside and, and no penalties, no nothing's going to happen? Or are they going to come looking at you looking for money still like you're going to work every day? Now as of right now, I'm a school bus driver and I'm on contract so I get paid uh, 365 days a year uh, whether I'm at work or not you know anytime we're off work I'm still getting paid but how long does that go on what if schools are shut down what if things happen then I'm not having income so all of this kind of gets your mind to really storming into the worst case scenario which I think is what a lot of people uh, are, are looking at and uh, getting tore up about and you can see you know with the hoarding that's going on I mean even in my town you can call all the stores and nobody has toilet paper <laughs> well, the one thing that that's selling out mostly is toilet paper which I can understand toilet paper is important but it's like everybody's going for the toilet paper more than they were going for the foods so really strange um, I'm just wondering guys after hearing what I what I've read and my thoughts and uh, your own thoughts and your opinions what you know what do you think uh, leave something in the comments let me know really what you think uh, is going on how extreme do you think this could get could this be the zombie apocalypse uh, that we've all been looking for for the past 10 years uh, how serious is this going to get or are we as normal just crazy and blowing things out of proportion uh, leave your comments and uh, thoughts on that either way you go and uh, just try to be respectful of others because not everyone sees things the same and uh, yeah so I'm not scared. I'm not running around like Kermit the Frog, you know, uh, scared or anything. But I'm concerned. 
it's a little concerning because you see what's going on and you see how crazy people are now so if things were to go another step further how crazy would people get you know we're getting you know at that point you're looking at uh, murders <laughs> you know people killing for a roll of toilet paper so anyways guys I just want to make kind of a quick video and uh, get my thoughts out there on this uh, I hope everyone stays safe continue living your life the best you can uh, you don't have to get in big groups but you can go outside you can still get some exercise get out there and enjoy your day and you know try and find something to do uh, to take the worries away and uh, tell me about your area what's going on in your area what have you heard what have you seen what are your experiences and uh, just let me know if you let me know in the comments you're letting a few other people know because you know I got a few people on my channel that that are regulars so you know let us know what's going on guys all right well don't forget guys you can get up get out get red do it to it even in a virus outbreak that reminds you of a movie outbreak that ugh. okay let's not think of that anyway get up get out get red do it to it and try to have a good time doing it be nice to others be nice to yourself and we're gonna get through this alright guys We'll see y'all later. Peace.